Hello, my name's Mark and welcome to Glasgow Green. This is the story of my N-gauge layout inspired by the Argyle line in Glasgow. So, Dr Beechin's not at his way, it's 1985-ish and Glasgow Green is still open to passengers. So as a young lad, I used to go spotting in Glasgow. This layout is based on my general interest in Glaswegian railway infrastructure, in particular all the low-level stations. So Glasgow Green was located in the southeast of Glasgow city centre, and it's on the same line as Bridgeton Station, which is still in use today. So here's a 1954 London survey map showing the station uh, just in front of the Templeton's carpet factory next to the People's Palace in Glasgow Green Park. So if you want to have a look yourself, here's the coordinates. So the station was opened on the 1st of November 1895 and finally closed on the 2nd of November 1953. The station then sat unused on the Argyle line of the Glasgow Suburban Rail Network with no plans for reopening and its platforms removed. The lettering of the station name was also in the same style of the other Caledonian stations and most notably in the main canopy of Glasgow Central. On the 20th of March 2012, what remained of the station was demolished. Network Rail cited that public safety was the reason, claiming that the facade had become unsafe after sustaining storm damage. So rather than starting off with drawings and baseboards, the first thing I did was model the station facade. So after a bit of research, I found the original record drawings for the station facade. Now, it was a pretty low resolution PDF file, but it was good enough for the task in hand. So I scaled off the record drawing and created an AutoCAD file of the station facade. So I then used the AutoCAD drawing to laser cut a model of the facade in 2 mil card. And here you can see probably the first version. I've got a few copies of this. I might build another one. I'm not particularly happy with the windows, uh, but the concept uh, turned out pretty well. Uh, the signs I've made, uh, literally I've just printed off uh, logos, stuck them on a card, and then just painted around the edge of the card with a bit of uh, water-based paint. So you can see the layout coming together. I've used ply strips and sheets to build up the scenic areas in three sections. And these were removable to allow installation of lights, etc. And they also allow me to work on the scenery at my workbench. So I'm not an electrician, but I wanted some lighting in the layout. So I purchased some cheap LEDs to have a go. Uh, I'll talk about these in future videos and demonstrate their installation. So I've decided to have a go at building a Raspberry Pi DCC++ controller. So it's using a Raspberry Pi, an Arduino, a motor shield and a touch screen and it's running the JMRI software. Uh, I'm going to do some more videos on this in the future. Here's an example of a Dries night at Glasgow Green. I like to watch the trains go by so I continuously run layout with six sidings at the rear. So the layout also consists of some train detection that activates signals. Uh, I'll go into some detail about that in future videos. Again, another Greek night looking out from the high flats. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers, bye.